by testing your forward fold. So we get to check in and see where we're at right now today. Take a mental note of how far you're going and how it feels. We'll start using your piece of furniture. The tighter your hamstrings are, the higher you want this to be. So begin by placing the palms of your hands on this piece of furniture with bent knees. Straighten one leg, keeping the other knee bent, and then come back. Straighten the other knee, and then come back. You're straightening one knee at a time, making sure to really lock that knee despite any nastiness that might be felt. Continue along with repetitions side to side. Here I'm demonstrating that if you are a little looser, you can go a little lower. Find the right height for you that gives you a deep stretch in your hamstrings or in your calves as you do this movement. And now you're finished with that. We're gonna move on to what's called a single leg good morning. To set up for the single leg good morning, we have a slightly staggered stance. The back leg is a kickstand, so it's just for balance. We're not gonna place too much weight into it. The weight is in the front foot. We're gonna hinge over that front leg, keeping the back straight. The hand you see on my lower back is a reminder for me to maintain my arch in the lower back instead of rounding in the lower back. This in combination with locking that working leg will create a deep stretch on the back side of that leg. Hold this last rep for 10 seconds in that bottom position. Come up and out and begin your repetitions on the other leg. Follow along with me. This is our last rep, so remember a 10 second hold in the deepest position that you can. Make it burn and make that leg work hard to support most of your body weight. Good, come on up, you're finished with that. Next, create some floor space so that we can do a bear walk on the floor. Hands and feet on the floor pushing to an A-frame or downward dog. Once you arrive in this position, pedal the legs out side to side, reaching heel to floor, similar to that first exercise. Now, create the best A-shape with your body as you can. It's okay to have bent knees. Take a step forward and then lock the leg that you're stepping with. Each step, lock the knee 
straighten the leg. This should give you a deep stretch. The closer your feet are to your hands, the more intense it's gonna be. So if you're really stiff, you can have your feet further from your hands and that should be a better place for you. Try to hold that straight leg position for at least two seconds each rep. That wraps up your bear walk. You can relax and grab your light weight. The weight can be anywhere from two pounds to 20 pounds. This exercise is called a Jefferson curl and you can think of it as a forward fold just with a little assistance, a little help. Stand tall with the weight in front. You're going to bend at your neck, tucking your chin then bring the shoulders forward, rounding the upper back and starting to hinge and continuing to round the back as much as you can, letting the weight pull you down. If the weight touches your feet or the ground, you can bend your arms and let it pull you further. Now, try to pull your chest toward your legs like you're trying to scrunch your body together. Now, reverse your way up. You're going to extend the hips, then the lower spine, then the middle and upper spine, and then the head and the neck. Think of this movement as rolling the spine one vertebrae at a time, both on the way down and on the way up. I encourage you to take it slow. At the bottom, remember to pull your chest toward your legs for five seconds. Then slowly make your way back up. Once you're at the top, you'll do one more rep. Good job, you're done with this round of the follow along. Now, retest your forward fold. See if you can go any further. See if it feels any different than it did before. If it does feel different and it's better than before, heck yeah. Leave me a comment below and let me know what changed and what it feels like now. Now that was only after nine minutes of movement and stretching. Restart this video and do it again. I guarantee you'll get a lot further. Mm -hmm.